Let me start by offering my apologies for my blunt way of writing. I can but say in excuse of it that I am more accustomed to handle a rifle than a pen. I am no stranger to exaggeration, yet however unlikely the tale I'm about to tell might seem to you, it is how I remember it. For I've learned the hard way that all things live forever, though at times they sleep and are forgotten. A great name can be an even greater burden. My special talent to attract problems just kicked in again. Another thing that seems that I've inherited from my famous ancestor. We sure have picked a lovely day to meet your ex-colleague. I very much doubt that there is ever a day without a sandstorm around here. And he would probably object to the word colleague. I wasn't a field agent back then, after all. Only intel. The nagging voice of bureaucracy, as he so eloquently put it. In any case, I'm sure he'll be worth the trouble. You're seldom wrong, Professor. But today might be just one of those days. Hey, stop! You should pick your drivers more carefully around these parts. Professor, meet James Lee Quatermain. So many books. I thought you'd be more the magazine type. Yeah, they came with the flat. Since you've come all this way to find me, I guess you don't just want my great-grandfather's compass for your personal collection. No, it's of vital importance to our mission, and thus to the fate of our nation. Sounds dramatic. I think the price just went up. But more importantly, I want you to join our mission, Mr. Quatermain. Look, Professor, I called a couple of old friends and did some background checks on your little agency. I'm not really interested in that mythical nonsense you guys investigate. So I'm afraid I'd have to... I've done some checking of my own, Mr. Quatermain. On you. A gambler as notorious as yourself could use some extra cash. And Agent Goodwin could use someone with experience out there to watch our back. Here. This belonged to your great-grandfather. You'll need it. This is gonna cost you. I hope you know that. Oh, what the hell. Just let me finish my breakfast. My great-grandfather, Alan Quatermain. His name, a byword for adventure, and my main source of income. A lot of people paid good money to say they traveled with a Quatermain. And I did whatever anyone would pay me for, even played babysitter for a Greenhorn agent. Our informant among the Nazis briefed us if we tried to get into the temple. We failed to open the gate to the inner sanctuary. They left, but we're sure they will return. Where they failed, we have to succeed. Just remember the deal. I get you in, I get you out. And that's my role done. You get your artifact, whatever else I learn, I get it. Spoken like a true hero. Spoken like someone who's worked for Uncle Sam before. He considered all this to be a trap. Our informant's been leaking viable data to us under the alias Shepard for months now. We can trust him. Sure, if you say so. We have to be careful. You remember my driver? The Arab who tried to steal my bag? He was part of a tribe of thieves who believed Egypt's cultural heritage 
is theirs to plunder. When clearly, we all know that's Uncle Sam's job. Go in, get what we came here for, and get out. I like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that! So much for the welcoming committee. What kind of fool runs around with pockets filled with dynamite? You see how they blew up that statue? To stop people from entering the temple. Only one thing that can solve a problem caused by dynamite. More dynamite. You think that's a good idea? Relax. I've done this before. There's plenty of... <laughs> Time! Comfortable there, Quatermain. I know you don't believe in any of this, but what's inside this temple might change that. Have you any idea what might be inside the sanctuary? Only one of the most powerful artifacts to be found in the written histories of man, the Heart of Atlantis. What is it about this jewel, anyway? The Tear of Isis. According to legend, the goddess Isis shed a tear while searching the world with the scattered limbs of her husband Osiris. When she... Okay, let me rephrase that. Why do we need to bring it here? If my research is correct, the Tear of Isis will allow us to open the gate to the inner sanctuary. Ready, Quatermain? Then do the honors. It belongs in a museum.
Yeah, and the reward for finding it belongs to the bank account. Many believe my great-grandfather to be a crazy liar. With his tales of African spirits and ancient beasts lurking in the dark. <laughs> I was one of them. But life has a way of changing your perspective. Ich habe bereits zwölf Männer da hineingeschickt. Nicht einer ist wieder herausgekommen. Wir können uns keine weiteren Verluste leisten. Aber die Tore sind offen. Wir sind so gut wie am Ziel. Ah. The Yankee is awake. Good morning, Mr. Quartermain. Always a pleasure to meet a man of such august extraction, even under these unfortunate circumstances. And Fräulein Goodwin, many thanks for opening the gate for us. You have been most helpful. How do you know our names? And thank you for confirming them. Again, most helpful. Oh, good one. Don't be so hard on her, Mr. Quarterman. After all, it was you who let her driver go. He was very willing to share everything his eager ears had heard. In this savage country, don't you know mercy will only cause you trouble? I think your people call it getting rid of loose ends, yes? Exactly. Wait, we might still need... Halt! Where do you try to go? Let's see how far your boyfriend comes. Just a quick trip to the temple, she said. In and out in a second, she said. Great. The same symbol nonsense, like an Allen's notebook. Hmm.